It is the 5th of October, <coughs> Wednesday, 2022. And what I'm looking at today is Assault on on Vimy Ridge, a solitaire war game. And um, all of Canada goes wild. So obviously we're looking at a World War One game, and we'll look at it here. And Mike Lambeau, Mike has uh, um, done a bunch of these games. Um, I've got every one of them. Um, this is this is his latest, but he's probably due for another one pretty soon. So um, I was going to get to this one. And um, the reason I didn't got to it earlier was because I was upset about this game. Because not upset about the game itself, but actually the physical condition of it when it came in. It was, you can still see, it was, uh, maybe see a crease there. Definitely see a crease here. And um, it was almost wadded. The front cover was. I don't know about the inside. The inside may look better. So I was pressing it for. Uh, oh man, it's been a good while. I was pressing it under some uh, weight to get it flattened back out. This has been. An, I've seen this has been an issue a couple of times with Amazon. Um, a couple of um, things I've ordered lately in book form have uh, just been mishandled. I don't know if it's a. Uh, thing at the warehouse or if it's a thing with the driver but it's just they came in horrible condition and I'm very disappointed in Amazon but that's neither here nor there I just you know um, when you pay good money for stuff you don't like it to receive it in a bad condition all right the Battle of Vimy Ridge let's read the blur Battle of Vimy Ridge April 9th to April 12th 1917 was part of the Battle of Armas. No, Aris, not Armas. I'm misreading it. Sorry, I know better. In um, northeastern France, and took place during World War One. It was the first time that the four divisions of the Canadian Corps fought together as one, and is arguably Canada's most celebrated military victory. Uh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's correct. The ridge itself was crucial. Was a cru crucial strategic location, and previous attempts by the British and French to take it had failed. New tactics for assault and trenches were employed, where the enemy units were pinned and suppressed with machine gun, with machine gun fire, and other weapons. Before infantry, infantry ran in with bayonets to finish the job. Soldiers were given more flexibility to make decisions on the fly, supported by non-commissioned officers in situations where officers had been lost to the enemy in fire. In addition, troops were allocated specific roles, for example, as specialist grenade throwers, the German defenses were underprepared to use their to use their own new tactics for defending trench positions. In addition, the Canadian forces were advancing behind a rolling barrage of artillery fire, which which caused German soldiers to run for cover into underground chambers to avoid annihilation. This helped the Canadians to enter the trenches before the enemy could recover and reinforce. The ridge was taken and the battle was over in four days. In the game, the player will take control of a sergeant who finds himself as the highest ranking person amongst a selection of various units, representing small groups of remaining men in rifle squads, grenade squads, and machine gun teams, seeking to achieve various objectives. See, that's cool. Very well done. Very cool. You haven't yet. You've picked a really a good, a great battle to represent. World War I with, you know, World War I is one of my, the things I love studying about, because I love studying about that slowdown, right? You could see it coming even in other wars, you know, even at the end of the American uh, Civil War. You're seeing this digging in, this kind of trench thing. That's why you see, like, at uh, 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 the, the later battles, the later big battles, you start seeing Confederates just dig in. Um, it, it was almost a natural thing. So by the time World War One comes around, this idea of any kind of a fluid battle is has slowed to a crawl. Um, could be argued that a lot of the tactics were were um, 
out of date, obviously, and with the and with the um, um, the new technology on the horizon, it just um, everything slowed down. But this is a great battle to look at, right? So we've read the blurb. See what we got here. Background: How this book works. Well, we know how the book works by now. It's simple, simple game, simple war game, right? True war game, just a simple one that you can finish with pencil, um, and paper, or all right. So rules section and all of that. About what, 19 pages? It's not bad. And so we look at, okay, we're, not, we're using a squares here. Third Division, commanded by Major Green Lewis Lipset, encountered the least resistance due to the fact the heavy artillery bombardment had crushed most of the German positions. However, that did not mean it was an easy task. Clear all enemy units off the mission map to progress to mission two. See, that's cool. That is cool. All right. Let's see some of the some of the orders you're rolling for. Okay. Rifles, grenades, and machine gun attacks attack nearest German unit along their facing. Perform all attacks on the same German unit together. Pinned units do not attack. Okay. Cool. You know, I'm starting to like the looks of some of these maps. Trenches there. I don't know if it's... Huh. You know what? That's something we ought to do. We ought to look at some of the earlier... Lambo games, and then look at one like this and see if uh, what the, any differences with the critical eye. I'll have to play this first to do that, but your orders. Okay. Third Division Canadian Corps. Onwards and upwards. Okay. Campaign. Mission 2 and 3 Division. Onwards and upwards. Okay. So how many? Well, you're not going to look at all of those. We don't, you won't, if you want to look at all those, you have to buy the game. So, how many missions are there? How many? Campaign D. Wow. So, guess what? I guess about 15 there, too? Yeah, you get a, you get a, look at that. You get a lot of game with his with one of these books. I recommend these books, and he's been putting these counters back here for any, if you want to use counters. That right there gets uh, we'll get uh, war gamers interested, right? Yeah, you got a counter sheet. Let's 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 cut and paste some of these. Sometimes war gamers are like that. Well, that's it. I'm just looking at it. Uh, don't know when I'll get a chance to play it. I've been doing a little design work myself. I've been involved in that. Um, play with my normal group so you know it is what it is but we'll get to play it sometime soon and maybe we will look at Lambo games maybe I'll do a review of all the Lambo games to bet from best to worst in my opinion that could be a very good exciting kind of a thing to do a very interesting thing to do right all right folks y'all have a great day um, hope it's beautiful where you are it's a beautiful day here a little warmer than I'd like it to be. Uh, but still, it is what it is. It's just October's. It's going to be a while before we get real cool weather. So, all right, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.